Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Bible Illustrated Hands. Today's question comes from Instagram user by the name of Bees Are Great, and I agree that they are great. Um, he asks, uh, what is the Orthodox teaching on predestination? Well, actually it is far simple, far more simple than it can be imagined. Uh, I would say that we don't, do not believe in predestination. However, I would, al I would also like to define these concepts. Let me define uh, predestination as an act of God by which our, uh, our choices as regards to Him are predetermined. So, if I am predestined to be saved, I will become a Christian. Uh, and if uh, I am predestined to be damned, I won't. However, that is not how we see things. We have these uh, all these different verses in the Bible talking about us being elected and what not, but these require proper context. For you see, God is outside of time, and by outside of time that also means that He is present both in past, future, and present. He is present in present. That is why it's called a gift. <laughs> but anyway, um, why am I telling you all of this? Uh, God already knows our, our choices, but it's more than simple knowledge. He's, he's present during all of these events. So, when God says that he elects some, that essentially means that uh, he knows what choices these people will make. So, <clears throat> I would say that no, we do not, we do not believe in predestination but also that we do, but that this, in quotes, predestination is essentially based uh, upon God's knowledge of our choices. Now remember, uh, God's knowledge of, uh, of, of uh, what we, we will do does not determine our choices. Our choices determine God's knowledge of, of what we will do. Orthodox Church essentially believes this in synergy, that is, that uh, we make our good choices in cooperation with His grace. Um, that is essentially Orthodox teaching. We are not puppets in His hands, neither we make all of the choices by ourselves. I hope this cleared something up. Bye!